Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are still talking about level measurement. This time we are talking about capacitive level measurement. Well, I hope everybody knows how a capacitor is working. A capacitor is nothing more, nothing less than two isolated conductive materials with a little gap in between. And whatever is in this gap is influencing how much charge at a specific voltage this capacitor can hold. That's called capacity of the capacitor. Well, and if we do have something like this, yeah, we could place one electrode, which is isolated here, yeah, dip in one electrode, And use if the wall of the of the tank is also conductive material, we could use the wall as second electrode. So here we have electrode one. And use wall. Electrode two. Here, this is Elektrode, it's German, Elektrode is English. Yeah, I've already the translation. <laughs> That's one possibility. And we connect those two electrodes to a transducer, and this will indicate the level. Why this is indicating the level? Because here we usually have an epsilon r equals 1. So this is air, for instance, and here we have an epsilon r bigger than 1. And it is not allowed to be a conductive, because then we would simply short circuit those two things. Yeah. So we're measuring the, the electrical field inside, they would look somehow like that. Uh, if this is conductive, we, al we always have to hit a 90 degree angle. This would be the electric field. And here, the electric field is denser. This is how this would look like. Huh? To indicate that it is really denser, I will simply draw a little bit more of my field lines in here. And since the capacity can be measured, if we measure the capacity, we know exactly how much this is filled. Method one. If this is not, if this is not a conductive material, we could use something like this. We're using one electrode and around this electrode we're using a tube. Okay, so this is a tube. I cut it now open. A second electrode. This would be a second possibility to use a tube-like thing with a core and then inside we only have the, the field inside. Here it's not that dense and here it's denser. Electrical field and the same principle, but this time it's not, it's not the wall, which is the second electrode, but if I draw here also the level transducer, we have to connect the the two electrodes. Huh? Electrode one, electrode two. In this case, it's a tube. Huh? Would also be a possibility. 
can be used for bulk materials. This can be used for bulk materials. This is not that good for bulk materials. Uh, can be used uh, for liquids, of course. Uh, well, the only important thing is that this is not conductive. And we have uh, a difference between the epsilon r's. That's it. Uh, this is how capacity uh, is working. Capacity level indication. So plus side, uh, different materials possible. Yeah. Uh, also, also aggressive. materials possible since you have no current and uh, things running this is okay uh, and uh, negative would be uh, if we change the material on changing material it's not that good uh, limited possibility on changing material okay ah well now good in pressure tanks and high temperature Also no issue, no moving parts, nothing. Yeah. Capacitive level measurement. Quite often used. Alright. Next time we're going to talk about radiation level measurement. Yeah. Ooh, sounds dangerous and obviously it's not you know it's not that easy. Yeah, but we will talk about it in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.